Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Pets for Pets one here with another video. Um, this is going to be my first update for my Goosebumps collection. Um, one comment um, on my first Goosebumps collection book video that I did asked if I can review Werewolf Skin. Well, I'm sorry for that. I really am. I apologize for that person who, wanted, who requested me to do that, but apparently there was an error in the address thing, and they just screwed it up and canceled the order, so I don't know what else to do, so... Oh well, I've got a lot more Goosebumps books, and I'll give my own personal review on each and every one of these from the books and the TV shows in order, so this might take a while, but I like long videos, so here it is. Say cheese and die. Yeah, the some of these are really crappy cause I, because they got lost and they got left out in the sun for a long time, so don't blame me if they're like ruined. <laughs> But yeah, I get newer copies of them, so I'll throw the older ones away. But here's Say Cheese and Die. Um, this one, this book was really good. I liked the idea in this. And I thought the episode was pretty good, too. Um, Curse of the Mummy's Tomb. Scary cover. This book was a little boring, but it was satisfying. And there was no episode on this, and I thought this would have been a pretty easy episode to make. I don't know why they didn't make an episode of this, because this was like, because this would have been like the perfect, cheap, easy episode to make. That they could have added all new twists to. I don't even know why they didn't make an episode of this one. Um, let's get Invisible. This one was pretty good. I like the idea in this one, too. Um, the episode was good, too. Night of the Living Dummy. This one was like one of the best ones ever. It was really classic. Classic Goosebumps tale. And I'm really surprised they didn't make an episode of this one either because they made Night of the Living Dummy 2, 3, and Bride of the Living Dummy. And I don't even know why they didn't make a Night of the Living Dummy because that just doesn't make sense. That made me angry. <laughs> the Girl Who Cried Monster. Original. Kind of crappy. But um, I like the book. But not so much the episode. The episode was really cheesy and cheap. Piano, this is going to be Murder. This is one of my newer ones. The copy is really good. Ignore that. Okay, um, Piano, this is going to be Murder. This book was good. I like the episode too. <laughs> Ignore that. <laughs> you Can't Scare Me. This was like one of the worst ones ever in my opinion. Um, this book, I didn't like the episode that much either. The episode was, how can I put this, child's work, in my opinion. Um, Why I'm Afraid of Bees, for some reason for this one I cannot find the original copy. I Everywhere I look, I cannot find the original copy for this one. I looked on eBay, I looked on eBay, Craigslist, half price bookstores, everywhere. I just can't find the original cover for this one. But... Anyway, this book was a little good. Satisfied me, but wasn't very good. <laughs> deep Trouble. Deep Trouble, Deep Trouble. I like this book a lot. Not so much Goosebumps Scary type book, but it was good. And this was my newer this is one of my newer books too. And I didn't really like Well, I liked it, but it was kind of fantastic and it was not very scary at all. But I don't even know why for the episode that they just made Deep Trouble 2 into an episode and not Deep Trouble 1 and they actually called it Deep Trouble which I thought was pretty dumb. Oh well. That would have been a hard episode to make anyway. It came from We Need to Think. Um, I thought this book was really very creative and I liked it a lot. So was the um, TV episode. I like that too. Good review on that one. The Barking Ghost. It scared me a lot when I was little. But now it just I just read it for entertainment and watch the episode for entertainment, and I liked it a lot. Both the episode and the book. Uh, Shaka on Shock Street. Um, really, really good. Liked it. I didn't, had a very good twist ending that I didn't expect coming. Arl Stein is known for that, twist endings. Okay, The Horror at Camp Jelly Jam. Um, another one of my new books. Um, this one that I got was kind of dented. I was I got it from a used bookstore. But I have another copy of this. It was an older, more damaged copy, but I don't know where it is now. 
So anyway, I never really lose my Goosebumps books, but... Yeah, this was a classic one. I don't even know why they didn't make an episode out of this one. This would have been pretty easy to make. If they can make the blob that ate everyone into an episode, then they can make this one into an episode. That was just wrong of them. They screwed up like there. Okay. Revenge of the Law Gnomes. Creative. Good. Didn't like the episodes very much. There. The Abominable, the Abominable Snowman of Pasadena. Yeah, it's Pasadena. I thought this one was very creative. <laughs> and good. Uh, this would have been a pretty hard episode to make, so I don't really blame them for not making an episode. In my opinion, anyway. This book was really good. <clears throat> How I Got My Shrunken Head. This one was hard for me to find. I'm lucky I came across it at a used bookstore, but I could not find this book in its original copy, but I came across it at a half-price bookstore. But overall, the book that I read was good. It was very good. I liked it a lot. And it was very creative. And I think it ties in with um, Help We Have Strange Powers from the Goosebumps Horrorland series. Night of the Living Dummy 3. Good book. Liked it a lot. Liked the episode too, but I actually like the episode a little bit better than the book. But that's very rare. Because I like the book. Because I usually like the books better. Oh well. Okay, um, Bad Hair Day, the book was, okay, I liked it a lot. I didn't like the episode that much, though. Egg Masters from Mars. <laughs> Creative, didn't like the book very much, but I like the, wait a minute, they didn't make a TV episode out of this. I don't know why, that would have been an easy TV episode, to... that would have been an easy TV episode to make. But, this book was overall good. Creative, but not very entertaining, but it was still good. Okay. Beast from the East. Scary. I like this book a lot. This would have been an also pretty hard episode to make. But since it's from the 90s, I don't blame them for not making an episode of this, but overall the book was really good. 33, 33 chapters, that's the most chapters a Goosebumps book can have. Except for the newer Horrorland books. Okay. Um, Say Cheese and Die Again. Um, this book was really good. I liked it a lot. The episode was kind of cheap, but overall, book, good. Show, bad. Okay. Ghost Camp. Um, really, really good. This would have been a pretty hard episode to make, but yeah, it's good. Another copy of Ghost Cam. Good. Legend of the Lost Legend. This is my newer copy that I brought at a used bookstore. Um, this book was really good. And it's actually one of the rarer ones because since it's out of print, they don't make any more copies of it. So the original ones printed from the 90s are just out there. There's no more. Once you grab them, they're all gone. Once they're all owned, they're gone. Okay? So they won't be making any of these anytime soon. Okay. Another copy of The Legend of the Lost Legend. Oh, did I forget to do my review on one? Oh, well, quick one anyway. This book was good. Hard episode to make, though. Don't blame them for not making an episode. Okay. Attack of the Jack-O-Lanterns. Good book. Good episode. Episode kind of cheap, though, but still good. But book, overall, good. Really twist ending. I like the twist ending a lot. How I Learned to Fly. I believe I can touch the sky. Book, good, unique, fantasize like. Not really scary though, but the book is really good. I like the book a lot. Once again, hard episode to make, so I don't blame them for not making an episode out of this, so. Who cares? But I like the book though. Mm -hmm. The Curse of Camp Cold Lake. This was like my fourth favorite out of the entire Goosebumps Community series. That means that a series 2000 out of original series out of Horrorland, out of all of that. But this one was my fourth favorite out of all of that. This book was so good. I liked it a lot. Hard episode to make. Don't blame them. Yeah. The Haunted School. Cool. Like it. Like it a lot. I don't know why they didn't make a TV episode out of that because that would have been pretty easy since they didn't have to do much with the camera. I Live in Your Basement. One of my new ones. This is one of the rarer ones too. 
this is probably one of the most graphic Goosebumps books I ever read. It's my third favorite behind Monster Blood 4, but yeah, this book was like one of the most graphic children's books I ever read, and still super good. Liked it a lot. Hard episode to make. <laughs> Monster Blood 4. Super good. Second favorite out of all of them. Behind Welcome to Dead House, this is my favorite out of all of them. And I liked it a lot. Like, the monster was just like this little blue slug thing that keeps multiplying and gets evil and e gets more evil and evil if, you, if it keeps multiplying. It's just really, really good. I just liked it a lot. I was a little disappointed with the ending, though, of how they got rid of him. I was just a little disappointed with that, but... Oh, well, you can't judge my opinion, but... Anyway, book was good. Okay, this is the only series 2000 book I have. Revenge of the Bias Creatures Part 1. Pretty good. Um, kind of boring. I look forward to reading Part 2, though. Okay. These are the Give Yourself Goosebump series. Um, Please Don't Be the Vampire. Really good book. I like the Give Yourself Goosebump series because they're really fun to read. Let me see. Choose from over 20 different spooky endings. Ooh, I read one of these. Um, I'm actually still reading this one. <laughs> Little Comic Book Shop of Horrors. I started reading this one and it's good so far. Um, Escape from Camp Running Leaf. Probably one of the most boring Give Yourself Goosebumps books. But still pretty good. Okay, on to Horrorland books. Revenge of the Living Dummy. Um, I like this a lot. Really good book. And it ties in with Night of the Living Dummy from the original series. Okay. Creep from the Deep. Um, this book was really, really good, actually. I actually liked it a lot. Um, it seems like Arl Stein never runs out of ideas. It's amazing. But yeah, this book was really good. I liked it a lot. It ties in with Deep Trouble from the original series. Monster Blood for Breakfast. This one was kind of boring, but yet still good. I liked it a lot, still. I like the Horrorland story. This one ties in with Monster Blood, obviously, from the original series. Scream of the Haunted Mask, another obvious one. Still ties in with the Haunted Mask from the original Goosebumps series, obviously, but still, I like this Goosebumps book a lot. It was better than the Haunted Mask. The Haunted Mask 2, though, was pretty boring, but still, this book was really good. Who's Your Mummy? Ooh, really good book. I like this one a lot. It was really boring, but for some reason, all, all of Laurel Stein's Mummies books seems like they're just kind of boring. They just never really do anything with the mummies there, but this book was still kind of good, though. And it ties in with Curse of the Mummy's Tomb from the original book, of, from the original series, of course. Um, Say Cheese and Die Screaming obviously ties in with Say Cheese and Die from the original series, and this book was really good. I liked it a lot. They used different characters this time. Welcome to Camp Slither. Um, really good book. I enjoyed it a lot. Yeah. Ties in with the horror at Camp Jelly Jam, I think, from the original series, obviously. Help, we have strange powers. Yeah, this one was really good. And it ties in with How I Got My Shrunken Head from the original series. Really good book. Now on to the newer Horrorland books. Help, Little Shop of Hamsters. Really good book. I liked it. I liked the whole twist that he did with the Horrorland part. Liked it a lot. Um, Heads You Lose. I like this book a lot. Really good character in it. Like liked it. This is one of the newer ones, by the way. Um, the Wizard of Ooze. Scary. I liked it. The Horror at Chiller House. This was a scary cover to me. It was still really good, though. I liked it a lot. Okay, this one is one of my special ones, 30 Tales Doobie Goosebumps, and it has three stories inside of it. Um, let's see. Um, Tales to Give You Goosebumps, and more Tales to Give You Goosebumps, and even more Tales to Give You Goosebumps. So yeah, and it was like, all put together in the year 2004. So, I only read one short story of this so far. So yeah. Well, that was my Goosebumps collection. And again, I apologize for that review I didn't do on Werewolf Skin that that person asked me to do. I'm really sorry for that, but I have to move on now. Um, so, hope you liked my Goosebumps collection and the update I did. I'll be sure to making more updates soon. Okay? Bye!